G'day, Luke the Drifter here, and it's a beautiful day out at Camp Cobark, or just uh, near Camp Cobark, and we're at the Drifter Fan Camping Event, DFCE. And uh, yeah, as you can see, a beautiful day, we've got a lot of people starting to rock up, it's going to be about five or 600 people here this weekend, so it's going to be an awesome few days, and uh, something we're going to do every year here at Camp Cobark. Um, so it's just the uh, Friday morning now, and a lot of people still to rock up. Um, such an interesting place because so many different camp setups and it's just great to be able to walk around and see everybody what they're doing and they're all Drifter fans so everybody sort of knows each other a little bit from Facebook and um, yeah it's just such a great environment. Anyway one of the things we're doing uh, as well this show is releasing a new walk up hardtop and this is what we've got here behind me so it's the first time we've really shown it on a video and uh, it's been really the result of five years of dot our drift off-road tour is R&D so you know we've been doing the dot trails for five or six years now um, this is number 276 so that's the number of trailers we've made and really those whole five years have led to this point today where we've um, released our new walk up so it's been so much design and R&D going on in the last five years and we've improved and improved and made things better and changed designs and we've led to this point which is what I'd consider now for myself anyway, the perfect trailer. And so if you've got um, just two people camping or two, two parents and children over 10 years old say, as soon as kids are over 10 years old, they don't need to sleep up with you inside the tent, they can have a bunker or a tent themselves. So your kids over 10 say, they're fine on the ground. Um, or if you're just camping on your own, so your kids are grown up and gone. So that's when you can use this uh, this trailer here. So let's have a look. What we've done is it's still, this is basically a six foot trailer. You could do this style on a seven and sort of even on a five foot, but the, it's standard on a six and the six is what will fit best. So a six foot trailer, very similar to all our other trailers in the body here. We've got the medium canopy, we've got a top frame. Um, on these ones, we've got a bit like the equipped trailers. Uh, we've got the awning on the side, so the big 270 square back awning on the side, and that's uh, fitted on these raised sections here, so you can raise and lower that. So it's very easy to raise and lower. We, we haven't put the actuators on here, it's just easy to put that up and down. Very important though to be able to have this nice and high. There's a few reasons for that. One is so that you get really good water runoff. Okay? If this awning is flat, you're going to get water pooling on a big awning, and it's going to cause a lot of problems. It'll pool. It'll stretch the canvas and that's a disaster when you've got canvas as an awning. You do not want the canvas to be stretched from water pooling. The other big advantage too is that it's really important to have this as high above your head as you can so that in really hot days you, you got that heat away from you. If you've got awnings and some of the trails are like that, the awnings are quite low. All right, It's right above your head and that heat just beats down onto you. So you really want to have that separation um, you know, or as much air gap as you can from where you're standing to the awning because a lot of heat comes through these you know it's, it's eight ounce Australian canvas but you want to have that bit of gap so that's why it's important to get that raised up as high as you can around the side very similar to a lot of our trailers jerry cans we've got a nice big side storage boxes uh, this is a small little addition I've got this is just a gas bottle bag so instead of having a, uh, a gas bottle here I can have just a bag which I can put rubbish in, quite a good for rubbish or chips or firewood, something like that. So just a handy little bag that fits inside any standard gas bottle holder. Um, these are also the new alley boxes we're going to start selling. So really high quality, made in Europe, in Denmark. And there's dozens of different sizes. Uh, they're just an aluminium box basically. Very high quality, straps, nice hinge, rubber seal, so they're basically waterproof. And a lot of people can put these on their roof racks or if you've got camera gear or you can use it for food or all sorts of things. So they've got a, a thousand uses and they sort of stack on top of each other as well. Very robust and we're going to basically sit one on the back here. All right? When we're travelling you can put food in there or camera gear, whatever you like, and tie it down quite easily. So uh, we'll have these on the website soon and that's a great new addition to our, our camping shop, that we're, our online shop. Um, you know, just a great universal, very light box, and there's so many different sizes, so we'll have them soon. So, already on the web, man. Cool, already on the web. Jake's under it.
At the back here, um, I've just got an IGT bench. I'll put that out of the way. But yeah, as you can see, you've got a nice big space here. At the back, we've got our the new Red Vision from Red Arc. So uh, all the controls there. You can see what power we're putting in from solar. Um, and uh, actually, we just installed all this just yesterday, and one of our panels is not uh, connected, so we've got to fiddle with that. But that's our new Red Vision system. It comes as an option. You can see these are the two water tanks, so both water tanks are full, and this is the, the battery. So it'll be it's 98 percent charged. It'll be another hour, two hours, fully charged. So you got all the stats, and also you've got on your phone, which haven't quite worked out yet. All right, you've got an app, and there's all your details there. So you've got full controls. You can turn lights on and off, um, master switch. From a phone app as well, so basically from your vehicle or in the in the tent you can control things, which is really good. So that's an option we'll have on on these sort of trailers from now on. Um, the kitchen area, we've gone another big thing we've done is we've done away with the set of drawers in the middle, right? And we've gone for a 60 litre fridge. So a lot of people 47 not quite enough, so we've gone for the 60. Can't get the drawers, but we've got two big drawers here anyway. All right, a little insert drawer there for cutlery. Alright, so you've got two nice big drawers here anyway for all your gear, so it's not a big deal to lose those drawers and that gives you the option of the 60 litre ever cool Australian made fridge, so that's a, uh, you know, a new thing we're doing. Kitchen pretty standard, we've gone for a DPO here and a, um, an IGT bracket here on the end of the DPO, alright, so nice and simple. What that allows you to do is fit in a iron grill table accessories. You can have IGT4 and then a bench, you can do whatever you like. So I've got a bench in here now, you can put the iron grill table in. We've shown you those before and we can show you quickly again. But that allows you to hook this up. You can have uh, all sorts of options here for the Snow Peak iron grill table setup. This is a new part in the stove from a uh, cook partner in Idaho, America. And uh, we're going to be trying to get these approved for sale in Australia because they're just basically the best stove available in the world. Um, they're extremely strong, they're low pressure. Uh, they can make them to a few different sizes. The big thing is they've got a long hose, really nice rubber, flexible hose, hand tightening, hand tightening, and there's not a stove as good as this available in Australia. So you can buy them from America. Um, Cook Partner, sorry, but they're made by Partner Steel, a uh, little company in uh, Idaho. You can get onto the website and order them. They're not legal for sale in Australia, so we can't sell them, but we are going to try to get them approved so we can sell them. But these also, with a small modification, these will fit in the iron grill table, and we might quickly show you that in a sec. So, very good stove. Uh, storage box, of course. We've got the pole cradle down the side, and, you know, heaps of room for your storage box. Um, all your gear in there. Pole cradle. That can sit there, you've got a bench, you've got bench space. These kitchen setups are just the best thing for when you're camping. Uh, have a look around this side again, and we'll finish up at the front. This is something we just designed the other day. Again, this trailer's only just finished yesterday. Very new, slept in it last night for the first time. Uh, we've just got a sail track along here, and just an extra tarp basically comes out. So this tarp's three metres. At a metre and a half you've got eyelet, so you can put a wall down like this on an angle or straight down, a bit of privacy. As you can see here, I can get pretty much chains, a bit of privacy, um, also from the weather. It's just a tarp that slides in sail track. So this is a new thing we've just put on, which is an option if you want to get the side awning. It gives you just a bit extra space. Also quite nice with your ensuite. Okay, your ensuite's in there. Um, we can put an extra zip in these. So these come with a zip standard from South Africa here, which doesn't really suit a lot of applications, so we can put a new zip in, about an extra 50 bucks, so if you're buying an ensuite, we can do that, all right, and of course, these work so good, look at that, folds up, 
almost instantaneous. If you want to get changed while you're travelling, get the porta potty out, have a shower. There's your ensuite there. Now this one, when it folds up, swings around and locks on the front of the uh, trailer. We've got our joker here. Right, opens up. That locks in there. Your joker hot water. We've got our gas bottle right here. And we've got all our hoses here. So basically three hoses, gas, hot water and cold water. So cold water will come over to the uh, tank, the pump. Hot water goes into the shower and a bracket and gas goes straight to the bottle which is right here. So you don't need to move the bottle if you don't want to. Um, this is, the, the bottle is there so it's close. I think legally you have to lift the bottle on the ground but it's up to you. And this is mounted as a, as a, uh, as a temporary mount. So they've got a, a strap here and a little bracket. So this is not fixed permanently. It's, it can be moved, you know, taken off really easy. All right, so. Uh, on this side as well, we've got our um, little control box for the Cruise Master suspension. So several advantages of this. We've got a 30 litre air tank in there underneath and we've also got the compressor. All right, now that'll pump right up, fill the air tank and that does several things. One is going to operate the airbags on the suspension. So the airbags gives you, there's several advantages also with the airbags. You've got uh, great independent suspension with shocks, twin shocks, and you've got also varying load capability. So if you're basically traveling out to camp or, or going camping, you know, your, all your water tanks are full, you've got firewood all loaded up, and you can pump up your, your airbags a bit stronger, and coming back when you're empty, you can lighten it up a little bit. Also, you can soften it between highway and uh, dirt travel. So you've got basically adjustability on your suspension. The other thing you can do when you get to camp, you can raise and lower the trailer, okay? So, all right, you can go up and down to see the height for your kitchen. All right, now we've got a slope at the back here going off, so we can, our kitchen's sitting a bit high, so we can drop the whole trailer down. So that's really handy. And also, of course, then you can adjust one side or the other to get your trailer level, okay? Every trailer that pulls up in any camp, anywhere around, the, you know, you can level up front to back fairly easily, but side to side is only two ways of doing it, okay? You can dig a hole and drive in, or you can drive into a block. It's the only way you can really level the trailer, unless you've got the airbag, which you can just independently raise or lower one side. So that's a really big advantage. The other thing too, we've got an air tank, okay? Now having the air tank means you can plug in a line, and now you've got air. So you can pump your tyres up on the trailer, on the vehicle, and the one lead normally will do the whole way around. Whereas if you've got a compressor on the front of your trailer, uh, if you've got a compressor on the front of your truck, um, generally you need two lines or a long hose to get back to the trailer. So having this compressor sort of central means you don't have to lift your bonnet and you've got really good access to air. And you've got a tank. And having a tank means you can pump things up so much quicker. The other thing you do when you're driving up back and you've got bull dust and dust all over your trailer, okay, you can just get an air hose click in and just blow down the front of your trailer, the back of your truck, all right? Particularly on the back of your truck, you've got dust everywhere. As soon as you open your back doors, a lot of that dust goes inside. Now, having a, uh, an air hose means you can blow all that off very quickly. So that's a big advantage, or several advantages, having the air tank, all right? So you've got ride, uh, <coughs> ride adjustability, the capability to adjust your ride for your load, to suit your load. You can raise and lower your trailer at camp to help with the height of the whole trailer and your kitchen. You can independently adjust left and right to balance up the trailer to get it nice and level. You've got an air tank for your vehicle or for your tyres. And you've got the air hose that you can use for blowing dust away. So lots of advantages having the, uh, you know, the, the airbag suspension. We'll have a look underneath and show you as well in a sec. So a lot going on here. The hot tap joker. Uh, right here we need it, right next to the shower. Your airbag suspension controls there. Um, canopy, you've got lots of storage. We've got lights everywhere, okay? So there's three of these on the outsides, um, little spotlights. So you can have this one pointed towards your shower. And we're also in centre here, we've got little small LED LEDs, four of those right around the trailer as well. So there's a switch there 
at night time. You know, these are not extremely bright, but you can uh, have light all around your camp all night and they don't draw hardly any power. So it just means your camp's not, you know, really, really dark and it feels a bit more secure to have a little bit of light, especially if you get up at night time for the toilet and things. Okay, come around this side. All right, vehicle components, DO35 is a new hitch. These are really good. Um, we're, we're putting them standard now on all the trailers. A bit more expensive than the ones we, the odds hitch we were using, but they are a much better hitch, and they are so much easier to put on. You don't need to basically bang a pin through. It just sits over the top of a pin and lock it in. It's got a positive locking system. All right, so there's a pin there. Lower it over. It locks in. That's all you have to do. Very, very easy to hook up, and... Uh, all our dots now come with that standard. Rubbish bag in the front, very handy to have rubbish bag there. Now, um, have a look at the tent, then we'll jump underneath. One of the things with these dots as well, you know, they're not the sleekest, most streamlined looking trailer out there, of course. But the thing is with design is design is more important than looks initially, okay? So, you know, if, if you've got something that looks really pretty, but it just doesn't function well, then you're not going to be happy with it very quickly, okay? And the dot trailer is something that's designed primarily for function before looks. And um, anyone who uses it will tell you, uh, you know, you can soon see how quickly, you know, you can soon see very quickly how much design and thought process has gone into making it work really well. And that's the big thing with the dot. So, um, okay, on this side here we've got, uh, we've got two jerry can holders here with our wood box and we've got our large toolbox here okay so in here I've got a 600 watt inverter we've got the red arc TVMS system here alright so uh, that streamlines and improves a lot of the, the electrical system we've got dual batteries we can go lithium and we've got the BMS the red arc BMS as well lights here another thing you can see I've strengthened this area here because that's where we're standing and I've gone for the one handle you can see that so this one handle locks both all right, and that means there's not a handle over here where you're trying to walk up onto the top here. So that's another new feature. Power outlet here to get in and out of your BMS and the inverter. <coughs> now, these little boxes here are, um, okay, just a canvas cover. And they are small, you know, sort of utility box we call them. So that's going to be filled with, with uh, tie down straps or ratchet straps and uh, ropes and pegs, whatever you like. So that's a, that's a toolbox basically. All right, nice and strong. And you can put a canvas cover over the top of it. And that sits right here. Okay. That's just a bag I've got for different things. I've got some uh, hoses and leads in that drifter bag. Now these two boxes here will tie on the front, okay, and they just sit there neatly like that. So I've got a strap, a loop strap either side. What you do with these is one comes off and sits there, and this other box is, is fixed in place so it can't tip. Alright, so what that creates there is our new walk-up system. And uh, the big thing with rooftop tents, we've, we've learned over the years, the first problem is the soft bag. The soft bag's very hard to get off, and that's one of the big problems. It's all up nice, all up high, and it's hard to get that bag off. So that's the first big gripe people have with soft bag rooftop tents. The second one is the ladder, okay? Nobody likes getting up and down a ladder. A lot of people like the rooftop tents, very popular, becoming more and more popular all the time. The rooftop tents, you up off the ground, nice and secure. It's a lot of advantages having a rooftop tent, but the big thing is the ladder. Now what we've been able to achieve here is flip the rooftop tent around 180 degrees so it faces the front and utilize this front area to get up and access it without a ladder and that's simply what you can do here. Alright so three or four steps and you're straight up ready to jump in. Okay so nice and secure we've got a little we've got the medium canopy so it's a bit higher so we've got this extra little step here. As you can see it's not hard to access up and down there. These are very comfortable steps and you're right here. So that creates a lot of advantages in that you're straight in and out of your tent. 
you're not worried about the ladder at all. And you've also we've designed this large awning area over the front so you're fully protected. And also, very importantly, you're protected on the side window. So it's got lots of coverage here on the front area. Very important to have these side windows shaded. So you can see already there, half that window shaded. And the sun's coming straight in here. So it uh, keeps your tent a lot cooler and more protected from the rain. And also this big awning at the front. You're fully protected getting in and out of the tent. Now we've had to make this rooftop tent ourselves. Not something we really wanted to do, but we just can't buy a rooftop tent anywhere in the world that suits what we wanted to do, which is this extra width. Now, they're 1600 wide, 2250 long, 300 high, and you just can't buy that rooftop tent anywhere in the world, so we've made one ourselves. 1.6 aluminium, um, all welded together. You can see it's the uh, clamshell design. This clamshell design, we feel, is definitely the, the, the best style of, or design available. And one of the big advantages, I can stand up in there. So one of the pet hates I have with a rooftop tent is normally you've got to basically kneel down or lie down to put your jeans on in the morning. Whereas this rooftop tent with that design, I can stand up in there and get your jeans on, which is one big advantage. So you can stand up to get chains in here. And uh, there's heaps of room. You can put your head at either end on these tents. And also with that clamshell, it makes that top so stable. Okay, you can see we've got solar panels on there, 300 watts of solar. Redux solar panels, so you've got miles of power. You just don't ever have to worry about power, basically. You don't have to worry about putting portable panels up and tripping over them and wiring them up and moving them around. You've got so much power there, you just don't even worry about it. You're going to have always lots of power. So the clamshell design gives you stability up on the, on the top, gives you ability to have you know, things sitting on there, which is solar panels, or you could tie other things up there. And in the wind, that clamshell design is so strong and stable, okay? So the ones that lift up this way, you don't have that height and they're not very stable um, from the wind and things like this. So definitely that's the style that we've gone for. We've made it extra height as well so we can, um, so we can fit more gear in there. So you can, leave, you can leave 10 pillows in there if you wanted to. All you're doing is you can leave bags, whatever. There's, there's a lot of room in here. Jump up Jake and we'll have a look inside. See there, right? Yeah. So you can see we've put some pockets up here. We've got a light as well. Okay. I'm not sure if you can see this, but we've got a fan up here. You see that fan? Yeah. All right. So look at that. Really high quality marine uh, fan. It's very quiet, very smooth, and you can turn that literally 360 degrees. All right. So you can direct that exactly where you want. You can. I mean, it's so good having a fan. If you're in that really hot environment where it's hot and sticky at night, and you've got a little fan, really high quality, quiet fan blowing on you, it's just luxury. And that's the difference between a good night's sleep and not. So I've got the fan. We've got these pockets here, of course. These are on sail tracks, so you can actually pull these out and put different ones in if you wanted a little bit different. We've got large windows. Okay. Large windows there. And this is all Australian canvas, of course. This is also, this is a 12 ounce canvas. Now, most rooftop tents, they're very thin in the canvas because the way they fold up, they're very tight to fold up, and I use a six. A lot of the imported tents are very fine, lightweight material. You can see straight through it, the heat comes through it, the cold comes through it. This is a 12 ounce Australian canvas, okay? A 12 ounce Australian canvas is the equivalent of a 14 ounce imported canvas um, as well. So the best canvas in the world, made by wax inverters. Um, we've able, been able to use a 12 ounce canvas because we've got so much room in here. And that thicker wall is a lot warmer and a lot more protective of the sun and, uh, and the warmth as well. Got an insulated panel in behind here. Okay, so it's fully insulated with foam cell. Um, keep the heat off and also having solar panels on the top there. Solar panels, the extra advantage of those, they suck the heat out of the sun because all that energy the solar radiation from the sun is going into panels which is creating electricity and it's, it's the, that's the heat. So it sucks all the heat out. So that roof having the panels and also insulation is so much cooler. A lot of people are asking, well with this design only three windows, is it going to be better in the summer in the hot, say North Queensland hot weather? 
And the entry is a lot better because you've got a fully insulated panel, basically. You've got a roof over you that's insulated and the panel sucks the heat out as well. So, and you've also got the fan, so no problems for the hot weather. Heaps of room. Now inside here, we can fit, this is actually a, a 100 mils foam mattress. Uh, the, the mattresses we ordered the other day were actually 8 inch mattresses too high. This will fit a 6 inch, which is 150 mil, 6 inch, Innisbrong, uh, queen size mattress. So I don't know of any other rooftop tents available that, that'll offer that. So, you know, the other big problem with uh, rooftop tents, we've said they've got the um, soft bags, very hard to get off. Setting up time, the hard shells fixes that problem. The ladder's the next big problem, and we fix that with a walk-up. The third big problem is the mattress. Okay, mattress density or mattress thickness in all rooftop tents is always an issue because they fold over and notoriously got thin mattresses or mattresses that just aren't comfortable. Now, we've got a 6-inch capability for a 6-inch Innisbrung mattress, and nobody's going to whinge about that. You, know, you just can't get better than that, and that's going to suit anybody. If you're a bit elderly, you've got sore hips, sore shoulders, Innisbrung 6-inch, mate, that's going to solve all your camping problems. Queen size as well, so you've got a lot more room. Um, this is the biggest rooftop tent available, especially in a hard shell. So plenty of room for two people. We've got lights here. Okay, reading lights, both sides. There's a twin double socket on each side. So there's four USBs and two SIGs on each, on, in here. Heaps of power. And we've got also some storage area in here. So there's a lot of storage in the headboard. You can open this little flap and uh, there's lots of storage inside that for magazines, books, whatever you like, you know. Your wallet, your phone. There's, there's a lot of storage in there. You know, there's more space too. You could put um, RAM mount on here for a... You know, an iPad, you can do a lot of different things. So you can just bolt things on as you like if you wanted to. You can sleep with your head at either end, but it does work better sleeping your head at this end because then you can just, you know, shuffle straight out. If your head's at this end, you have to literally turn around inside here. So it works quite good. And I honestly thought to start with, it'd be a bit claustrophobic sleeping your head this end, but it's not at all because we've got the headboard there. We've made extra length, so you're not going to be too crammed up here. And with your head there, you've got a lot of room and it's not claustrophobic at all for myself, and we found people who are like that, but you can sleep either end. But it, it does work better sleeping this end, so you just, your feet are at that end and you're straight out. Uh, so, it's been a big thing for us, uh, building this rooftop tent. We make, we're manufacturing it ourselves in our dot factory, and uh, now these, are, these rooftop tents, as you see, are not going to fit on your car, they're too wide, they're only going to fit at, initially on our dot trailers. Now, if you've got your own trailer, you can order these and we can organise to send you one that will go on your own trailer. But these are designed for our dot trailers and they will not go on a vehicle. Maybe in the track we'll look at a similar, smaller design to go on a vehicle, but not in this stage. So, that's our walk-up rooftop tent. I'm going to jump down, Jake, and I'll show you how easy it is to get out. Plenty of handholds. We're going to put another handle here and really easy. So we'll also do a video at some point soon showing you when this is all closed up so you can see what it looks like all together. Let's have a quick look at the suspension underneath and then we're about done. Yeah, so hopefully you can see that. The uh, Cruise Master suspension from vehicle components, airbag suspension. This is a, a, a um, this trail here is a tear of about 1150 kilos and a GTM of 1700 kilos. So you've got plenty of room for, uh, you know, um, capability for, for extra weight. We've got twin water tanks on this. These are only aluminium at the moment. Uh, we've had to make these up ourselves to design, design them to fit exactly right. There's twin 80 litre tanks, but we will have these replaced soon in a plastic poly tank, which is much better. So um, that'll be swapped over soon. But you've got twin tanks, very important. If you've got a shower, you need twin tanks. Twin shocks, a lot going on under here, the fillers and everything. And um, so that's the suspension we're working with. Uh, Australian made, we've been to the factory up there. Really impressive company. And uh, make them all there locally. So we've gone to that system. Also, they've got uh, 12 inch electric brake standard. So. To get over, you know, I think it's 1,700, 1800 kilo rating for a GTM, you need to go the 12 inch brakes. 
and uh, you got a lot of stuff. We've always used up till now on all our trails a 10 inch electric brake. These come standard with a 12, so that little bit extra stopping power as well. All right. So that's our, what we're calling our dot six walk up hard top. Okay, so walk up the front, it's a hard top rift top tent and uh, it's got all the options on there. So pretty much it'll be available as you can see it. There'll be, looks like four options available. Um, everything else is standard. Lithium battery is an option. The Red Vision TVMS is an option if you wanted that. Not everybody wants that because it works off an app and electric buttons, but if you want that, you can get it. The 300 watt solar panel is an option. Okay, not everybody wants solar like that because some people might want to put a canoe or other things up there, so solar is an option. And uh, the inverter is an option, so if you want an inverter. We can't put an inverter as standard because some people want a 300 watt, some people want 6, some people want 12, whatever. So the inverter is an option. So they're pretty much only the four options. The rest will come as standard and uh, make them ourselves, of course, in Gloucester. And uh, if you want one or want to have a look at one, then you're welcome to... Watch the videos, we'll do more videos coming up, and uh, that's how it works. We might just duck over quickly and see Tofty, he's here also at the DFCE. Tofty's a big part of uh, a lot of what we're doing now. One of the camp camping community event we've got here today is pretty much, you know, Tofty's uh, idea. Uh, Tofty used to be a community worker and he, can saw, he saw the Drifter fans sort of, you know, interacting on Facebook, becoming friends, and he thought, you know, we've got to get this community together, which is what we've done at the DFCE, and it's just such a brilliant concept. Everybody here camping, they've got caravans, they've got swags, they've got all sorts of different setups, but the common thing is they're all drifter fans, and it brings them all together. They're all basically friends, and it's such a great atmosphere. A lot of this was Tofty's idea, and also a lot of the R&D with this is sort of me and Tofty have been working out between us you know, so he's a big part of what we're doing. So we'll just have a quick look at his trailer. He's got his set up a little bit better because I only got mine finished last night. And we'll show you his trailer. How you going, bro? Hey. See you, mate. Made it. Made it, mate. So, yeah, you guys know Tofty. Getting uh, more people know you than me now, mate. Yeah. Old Tofty. Way, mate, Tofty's know. running our shop up in Brisbane, so, you know, uh, that's been brilliant as well. Another initiative of, of the Toft. And uh, we've got uh, basically a showroom, a shop in Brisbane, and uh, that's just going crazy, isn't it? It's yeah, going it's off. been amazing, really, the response to that, mate. Yeah. So, big part of what we're doing now. It's great people can get in and touch and feel and look at everything, which is what people have wanted all the time, but we just haven't had a shop. No. And being in Gloucester is not something we can really do, but Brisbane, mate. A lot of people up there and they're loving the shop, aren't they? Yeah, well, even flying in, even some of like Jake's customers from here. You had a guy come from England the other day, touch yeah. feel. I'm sure he put a bigger order yeah. in for that stuff. Yeah. So it's really a lot good. going on up there. Yeah. So uh, we've sort of walked around my trailer, um, but you know, you've got yours a bit better set up. You can see the little hood we've got for the ensuite. So it sounds a bit funny having a, a roof on an ensuite, you're having a shower, but when you finish your shower, you're getting changed. And you can also have a port portable toilet in there. So it's quite important if it's raining to have a little roof over there. So it's just a canvas tarp goes over top. We've got a little flexible bow that hooks in and that, that domes it. So anyone who's got one of these en suites, we now do, this is the first one, the prototype. We've changed it so it's sitting a little bit better, but that's available now as an option for anyone who has an en suite. Um, yeah, again, this was the first trailer we built with a walk up hard top. Uh, and working pretty good, Toft, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's That's awesome, what we've mate. been... <coughs> That's what we've been working towards. Working right? towards, mate. We've tried... Tofty had the Hannibal. You know, we both had the Hannibal, and we realised the hard tops a better setup, particularly just the two people. You've got yeah. two kids sleeping with you, no yeah. good. But if you're just the two of you, and your kid's old enough to sleep downstairs, the hard shells go, because it's instantaneous. Two latches, pop it up, jump in the bed. Well, even we noticed last night, compared to last time, Every part of our bedding stayed in there. You yeah. look at when you set up with yeah. all your two pillows, we had three blankets, all that stuff. That's all awesome. there. There's so much room, mate. Yeah. We made it 300 mils high. You can fit, everyone's asking the eye camper that, how much can you put in? Yeah. Any rooftop tents, what can you leave in there? Pillows are a big thing. Yeah. You can leave 10 pillows in there, mate. Yeah, no, you whatever can you leave like. As much as you want to carry, because we carry yeah. a fair bit with that. Even a bit of storage, you know. You yep. leave, you'd probably leave some flat bags in there. We left our Ugg boots, everything stayed in yeah. there. So all yeah. that for the winter. Yeah. And that was so fast, like yeah. just bang straight up. 
And this kitchen setup, so you know your kitchen seems to expand every time we look at it. But it's a small house now. This kitchen here, Jake's the same as what we've got on mine, right? We've got the 60, right? Another Toft initiative, one of their six left freezers. I said, You can't fit it in, mate, you're not having it, but he's like, Well, I bloody want it. So we realised we can get rid of the drawers and fit the 60. Yeah. And down here we've got that bracket we showed you. Just a little bracket we CNC cut out ourselves. That allows you to have the iron grill table which you can see. So this is just a, a frame. We call it the, the Snow Peak build these, it's called the iron grill table. It's just a frame on some legs. Right, but that is, uh, as we've shown before, infinitely adjustable. So, so many combinations. So much you can do with it, eh? Yeah, so, absolutely. I could have put a sink in there or anything. Yeah. So. We've got the double barbecue box on charcoal. Cooking on charcoal is going crazy. Yep. That's what, you know, so many people eat today. Yeah. Never cooked on charcoal before. Sonia's doing it. Wow, this is this amazing, is you know. And it is, it's good. I've even so, got the drop down there. Another bench here. You know, a lot of people around today so have gone the extra bench, drop legs, and then another bench here in the corner. So, you know, so versatile. And as you can see, like for camping, if you're set up for a few days or a week, kitchen is your focal point of your camp. It's the most important thing to get right. And um, with this sort of setup, you just the sky's the limit. Absolutely. Some people love cooking, love doing lot, lots of things here. Yeah. Other people just want to cook baked beans. But with this sort of setup, if you enjoy cooking, you can do whatever you like. So, yeah. and this Snow Peak Iron Grill Table concept fits in with our kitchen and it's just uh, amazing so I think this is nice too mate this one where you can drop it down there and have for Elisa and I to sit yeah and you can sit down really there cool. and, so yeah. that's a, a really and you could go more if you got more people yeah, well that, these are the adjustable drop legs sit down and that's now your sitting height you're sitting there you know you know so this is your 8 830 height your 640 height and have a look out here too like this is um Camp Cobark basically. Look at this place behind us. Beautiful trees. You've got the river, the Cobark River here. There's platypus in the river. Yeah. This is 20 minutes outside of Gloucester, just west of Gloucester. And you can camp here anytime. Look up Camp Cobark on the website. 20 minutes west of Gloucester. It's a glorious place. And uh, you've got the Barrington Tops half now that way. You've got a lot of different drives. So such a good spot to come and camp. You can camp here anytime. You just register with Camp Cobark. Their main base is just down the road, and you can just come and set up here any time of the year. Well, it's a pretty yeah. drive in here too. Like heaps yeah. of people said today, hey, like so nice coming through Thunderbolts. You know, yeah. like that is one of the best drives. Yeah, you know, Steve, so it's, it's good country around here, eh? And yeah. uh, the coast is only an hour that way, so just a, a beautiful paradise. little river, paradise little spot. And it's great for this fan event because it's a big flat area, and we can fit a lot of people in here. So, right, well, mate. Well. Yeah, um, no, thanks, your thanks. solar's pumping. Solar's smoking on the mate. <laughs> you know, you're um She's hundred percent. You're basically facing it north and yeah. you've got you don't you don't like you said, you don't have to worry don't about have to do anything. No worries about power. That's absolutely you just you got pumping in three hundred watts. You can't get a flexible folding or you know, portable panel that's three hundred watts, can nah. you? And that's just easy, like you put that up, there's no setup, yeah. no mucking around. That's right. So whether you're driving now or whatever, it's all there. So. Yeah. I love that. That's so easy. So we're not even carrying panels anymore. Yeah, I don't that's carry right. Any yeah, you just like, don't cool. need to. You could do another. I've got a 160 as well. You could add into that, but yeah. you don't need it. And the thing is too, if you're not facing the sun all the time, all right? You know, because it's so much, so much power going into it. Even if you had three, four hours, just yeah, a bit of yeah. afternoon sun, it's yeah, enough to it. fill your battery. Well, basically, so. we were down last night 15 percent. And that was back full like, within an hour. Yeah, that's right. So incredible. So yeah. that, the moment that you need that, like it's overdone, but it will help you if it's cloudy or that's the right. weather's yep. not really well. Solar, the key is more, the more power that you can't have enough solar, no. right? And normally what's limited is how much can you set up, you know, and, uh, you well, know. I think we've um, always done it the other way too. We've put more batteries in solar. Whereas yeah. this one, I've only got a 125 amp lithium. Lithium. But it can go right down to 5%. So you've got all yeah. that volume anyway. That's right. And you're utilising that to its. That's right. So just the one lithium. How many amps 125 is it? 125, amp. which is the equivalent of like 200 amps. Yeah, that's right. You know, lead acid or, or AGM. Exactly. And, and it accepts the charge faster. That's right. It just works beautifully. So larger solar, smaller battery is working really well. And going lithium is the answer. Eh? And you're saving, what, 30 kilos oh, on the drawbar? Easy, easy. Yeah. You know. Well, Callum can lift that little battery by himself. I yeah. think it's uh, 13 and a half kilos. Yeah, yeah. Right, bro. No, very good, mate. Really Big appreciate Big journey. It. <laughs> We've done a lot of things over the last uh, 12 months. And, uh, you know, um, here we are, so thanks very much.